If you're in an ESPN Fantasy League, the process is now a little bit different. Starting with the 2018 fantasy football season, ESPN has an updated draft room that requires an extra step for you to get Draft Assistant with Sync working. However, as a bonus, you get that draft advice provided to you in the draft room in addition to as a separate tool. It requires the updated Fantasy Pro's Chrome extension, so you need to have the Google Chrome web browser installed. Here, I have the Draft Wizard My League screen loaded in Google Chrome. If you don't have Google Chrome installed, go ahead and install it. After you install the Google Chrome web browser, or if you already have it installed, import your ESPN League into Draft Wizard. Here, we'll import a test league. Click on Connect to ESPN to configure Draft. Log in using your ESPN credentials. And validate your league settings. Click Next. And here you go. Once you have the league imported, you will be asked to install the Fantasy Pro's Chrome extension. During this step, you are asked to grant permission to the extension to read and write data on the web. Don't worry, we do not track any of your browsing activity, behavior, or any other private information. This is purely so we can read player and league information from your draft room to provide advice. The other great function of the Chrome extension is the insertion of Fantasy Pro's player cards on any website you browse, which is another reason for the permission. You can disable it at any time. Click Add Extension here, and the Fantasy Pro's Chrome extension has been added. You can see some of the different settings here to insert player icons, and it also provides draft assistant advice. We can verify that the Chrome extension is, is installed properly for support of our ESPN Draft Assistant with Sync by looking at this box in the league settings. Once your league is ready to draft, you can click Launch Sync Assistant. For our example here, we'll connect to a ESPN mock draft room. For the purposes of our demonstration today, we're going to be using the Draft Assistant with Sync with an ESPN Mock Draft Room. You'll notice that we have both the Mock Draft and the Draft Wizard Draft Assistant launched in the Chrome web browser. I'm going to click Launch Draft here. And now that we're up and running, you'll see that the Draft Assistant advice is provided in the window, in the same window as your draft room on ESPN. For those of you with slightly smaller screen resolutions, this draft advice will be available in a window that you can reposition around the draft room. You'll notice that the information provided here is exactly the same information provided in the draft wizard tool. This is a great little benefit that is only for our ESPN users right now. In the draft room, you'll be able to see your suggestions. Click to suggest another player down here. See the expert recommended percentages. In addition to viewing your cheat sheet. With this new cheat sheets view, we've added the pick predictor percentages to give you an idea of which players may or may not be around when it's your turn to pick next. As a reminder, the draft assistant and draft wizard cannot pick for you you must still make the pick manually. So here, you can see here that the experts want me to pick Todd Gurley. So I'm going to go ahead and draft Todd Gurley. And there we go. You'll notice in the cheat sheet that Todd Gurley is now removed. If we click unclick the high drafted button here, you'll see that all of the picks are being tracked. Well, that's it for the Draft Assistant video for 2018. If you have any questions, please let us know via our customer service channels. And happy drafting!